So before beginning this video, do not skip this part of the video because it's quite important if you're going to buy any of these characters. So the dev that kindly showed me uh, these pictures, what I can show you, has told me I have to make a disclaimer. So if you're going to buy any of these characters, please listen up. The first thing I need to mention is that everything you're seeing on my video right now is not the final product. The final product comes out in a few weeks and from now, you, what you may see could be changed. For example, a character could be holding a sword or a mace and then in the real game she could have a shield. Um, one character could be a female, but in the final product she's a male. Or another example being one character could have a red dress and then now it's turned into a white dress. Those are the examples I'm giving you as why I said it's not the final product. But let's get into the video. Um, this is going to be everything in season two coming in, in I think, a week from now, I think. Yeah, I think a week from now, season two starts and these are going to be the new characters. Um, what I think about the season, you already know me, I'm honest to what I say. I do think the new season is going to be way better than season one. Season one wasn't really a great season, I think. I feel I feel like it was more of a flop. I do think the company could do way better than season one right now. Season one's quite dull. Even the characters they released are quite boring. So yeah, um... These new characters look amazing. I do think one of the characters I'm going to show you looks the best character in the game. I may that may, that may be a jump for what I'm saying, but I do think that one of the characters coming out is going to be the best looking character. It is a female character, so um, Nyx has a competition. I know a lot of people like Nyx of her design, her face, her eye, eye covered, the flower on her hair. I know that looks really good, but I do think the new character coming out looks way better than Nyx by a long shot. And some of the other characters may not look better than um, Nyx or Eudora, but yeah. Also, another thing I need to mention is that everything you've seen in my video is not uh, it's not abilities, it's not um, synergies, it's just what they look like. Maybe I might get the, um, the heads up that I'm allowed to tell you what they can do or what they can actually uh, provide to your team. But for now, it's just going to be look-wise, in-game and card art. That's all I can show you. So the first character is my favorite character. Hopefully it's Doom. I gotta mention that. Sorry, I gotta mention that. But hopefully it's a Doom character because she looks amazing. This is the this is the one I said that looks the best in the game, and this is what she looks like. Automatically, you know she looks the best in the game. If you're saying that she's not, then you maybe your taste is different to mine. But my taste is probably good. I think because I think a lot of people would agree this cat has a lot of detail. I like the flower, the flower, the rose hair as as a staff or yeah, it is staff right? Yeah, as a staff for the weapon. I like the rose hair. It could indicate that she has a lot of flower abilities. Um, I like the wings. She's got four wings. Again, just like Arishta and um, Madeline, they have like these demonic wings. So this clearly indicates that she could be a demon. I know, um, I know Madeline was a uh, celestial, but this could indicate that she's a uh, a demon because she has a lot of red going on, a lot of red dark colors, and she looks like she's a vampire. So vampires are normally bad. So it could be a demon based off. Um, of life still and all other things about demons so it looks like it's a, a demon character um another thing i like about the character is that it does look a bit uh, acceptable looking i like characters like that because i don't like characters looking way too manly or way too boring or way too on the animal side i like characters that have a mix so she looks a bit like enchanting character i do like that just like nyx i like characters like that um so yeah i do think the character looks like a 10 out of 10 in the real game, I have to mention this, in the real game, she possibly could have some things covered up. So like on the chest area, it could be covered up or on the legs, she could be wearing tights. But on this video, you're watching right now, you, she doesn't wear tights. So again, in the real game on live servers, she may have a different type of look. But hopefully this look, what we're seeing right now, gets to, gets to go and the green light that she can be actually put into the game. But yeah, I like the character. I like the, the white hair, turn it with a little red uh, stripe. And then, of course, the highlights is red at the bottom. I do like that. I like the little rose in the hair, just like Nyx. I do like that design. So a lot of rose going on. I do like the, the glass filled of blood. I do like that because she's a vampire. A really good touch. The chair is obviously not going to be in-game. In-game, she stands up. That's, that's an amazing thing I do like. So they actually are listening to what people got to say. I know a lot of people said, I hate that Janna sits down. I know many people said that I don't like how Janice sits down. I wish she stood up. Well, they've actually listened to most people's advice in their surveys. So, um, yeah, this is actually great that this character is actually standing up in the game. I'm going to show you the in-game look right now. But, yeah, this is definitely a good character. Uh, just for the people that are on the mobile, they want to see what the character looks like even, even further. This is what she looks like. Great detail. Uh, red lips, red eyes. Definitely a vampire look. The vampire thing there. Um, definitely a good look. I don't know why I'm going to the legs, but, yeah. Definitely a good look. So yeah, I, I'm definitely buy this character. If this character is Doom, I'm definitely going to actually spend. I haven't spent money on this game in quite a while because I'm already in a good position on the game. But if this character is Doom, I'll just buy it just for purpose of having a character for an avatar. 
If you don't know, the avatar is always the face of the character. So this is the avatar, right? Just her face from her from her neck, from her necklace all the way to her top of her hair. It's going to be her avatar. So this is a great avatar you can have. I like the avatar like that. If you don't know, I actually do like buying characters for avatars. I know that sounds that sounds wild, but yeah, that is also something I like doing. So yeah, definitely a definitely a good character. Where would I see this character in the game? I do see this character being a ethereal or glorians. I'm just going to put it out there. Um, we all know why they get cool looking characters and why they get strong looking characters. So it does look like it's going to be a part of a fields or glorians. In my honest opinion, I don't think it should be part of those because glorians has got Serfina. They've got two other royals recently and they've got Naui. Again, strong characters. They don't actually need anyone that's actually breaking the game. Because they already are breaking the game of how strong they are. And as for um, ethereals... I'm going to be honest, they have Eudora. Eudora is still one of the best characters in the game. Super strong and she does look good. And also in December, they got a bunch of skins. So I don't think they need any more giving them that, that advantage in look-wise and gameplay-wise. So maybe, maybe Do might get this. I don't think Mr. Fires is going to get because Mr. Fires is the least used, used class in the game or synergy in the game. And I do think Mr. Fires, they may need a, a good-looking character. I know the last-looking good character they got was Bastet. I think it was Bastet or Calf, one of the two. One of those are the two look, good looking characters. I think the other character is okay. Um, I don't see this being a Val character. I just don't know why it doesn't look like a Val character at all. Um, does it look like an Avenger? Possibly it could be an Avenger. I wouldn't want it to be an Avenger because Avengers have already got characters that look like this. She looks very similar to Jenna and Nyx put together. If they both had a child, I know they can't, but let's say they could, it, this would be it. You know, both, both of them put together looks like um this character i don't know her name i'm just gonna call her flower lady flower lady looks like she's part of janna and part of nyx put together but yeah i would like this in doom i would definitely spend money for this in doom uh this is the in-game model the in-game model was also really good again like i said before um she's not sitting down she's standing up a really nice touch they added because we do like cats that stand up not sit down i don't know why but that's just a lot of people like um the wings the wings are really big i don't i like how they're big not small so they're going to be moving in game i know a lot of people don't care about the wings in game and stuff like that because they don't play on um or i don't know what they don't play and watch the characters this day skip by it but again sometimes i like seeing my character what they look like so yeah definitely a good character the reason why i like what the character looks like is because when i'm playing um like the ladder for example at the character shows when people attack you before they attack you it shows the character so yeah um I would like to have a nice character on there because a lot of people use the same characters. So yeah, a nice character. This is going to be a Gen 5 Royal at best. I think it's going to be a Royal. It has to be a Royal, right? She's the main character of the season, so it has to be a Royal. Um, her her synergies, it may be Striker. It may be Striker or Monarchs because Monarchs is super strong and they haven't made a Monarch uh, Royal in a quite, a few, quite a few patches, actually. Who was the last Royal? For, who's the last Monarch Royal? I actually can't remember um i don't I actually i don't i'm not going to show you because i don't actually care for the monarch royal it's just a little thing that we all know the last monarch royal hasn't came in quite a while so she could be the monarch royal what would make her even more stronger in any in any synergy if she's demon and monarchs that is going to be crazy strong and she does look like she is crazy strong so if she is monarchs then glorians if anyone's going to be able to use her and that's actually nice that everybody could use her um, next person on this list is, I don't know her name, uh, I'm just going to call her Wolf Lady, Wolf Lady looks pretty good, I do think her design isn't better than the first character, but again, she's not the main person or the main person in the spotlight, she's just another character in the patch, she looks like she's a tank, not a DPS, so this character looks like a magical DPS, she looks magical again, with the staff, the way she looks, she looks like she's meant to be like a queen or whatever, so she looks really powerful, meaning that she could be a magical DPS, this character looks like a, a tank, a frontline tank. If not frontline tank, it looks like a physical DPS. I know physical and magical don't actually really make sense in this game, but maybe in long run it they might do. So if you're looking for a physical character that is really strong, this is definitely it. Um, her design, I give her design a seven, a seven out of ten. The reason why I give it a seven out of ten is because they tried to make her look really muscular and strong at the same time. They try to make her look sexy at the same time. I don't think it's actually. I don't think it's possible to make a character look really manly and really make or muscular and make a character look sexy at the same time. I don't think you should go one route. That's my opinion. I do think you should go one route in making a character. And I feel like if they cover this chest area or this or the stomach area, sorry, 
I think the character would look more better because it would look more more evil or more stronger for example because this chest part here or the stomach part here makes her look like she's meant to be more sexual but at the same time her design doesn't look like she's meant to be sexual in my in my opinion uh what synergy she, is she going to be a part of i think she's going to be a part of ethereals because i feel a lot has a lot of red a lot of um dark colors like the new cat that came out for ethereals exactly the same a lot of dark colors um yeah that's what i think she's going to be ethereals i don't think she's going to be a part of anything else Revelise, release she might be a part of uh avengers at Revelise, release but i doubt i doubt it's going to be avengers she looks like an ethereal character she looks like a royal because again i don't know her the way she looks powerful character it looks like a royal um the one thing i hope this character doesn't do because i know that they like doing this recently uh, madeline and Jana like to have a character that spawns in a passive so i don't think that um that would be a good idea to make another character that can do that where let's say you've got five people in the, five people on your team your lineup right if someone dies their slot gets covered with a passive so in in madeline's case it's a draco and in janice's case it's like a dead ally right i think that if they have these walls have the passive hopefully to do something new something unique in the game so maybe um you know like wolves in real life they like to always fight together the wolf pack so she's meant to be the leader of the wolves i do think if they can make something based off that it'll be really cool hopefully they're not just a filler to stay in a dead ally slot because that would be kind of boring because we have already three characters that can do that so yeah um her, her synergies definitely going to be a celestial some people may say demon but i doubt it she looks like a celestial uh celestial physical dps and maybe tank maybe physical dps and her last our last synergy could be it could be protector uh that's what i get that's, that's the vibes i'm getting i look like ethereal celestial protector and if it's not protector then at rev release it could be a monarch but that's all i've got to say for this character her in-game model don't have doesn't have the dogs or the wolf sorry it's just her standing still and like i mentioned in my disclaimer that she has a mace right for example she has a mace but in the real product, what comes out in a few weeks, she could have a sword, she could have a, a shield. So don't think this is the last product because it may not be. And just for censorship um, reasons, her chest part and her um, lot of cleavage showing or skin showing could be covered. So again, if you don't like stuff like that, then just be in, just be ready for when they do it because they need to release it in other countries like um, China, for example. And I know that they have a lot of uh, disclaimers there. So, um, not disclaimers, a lot of censorship over there. So yeah, um, definitely a seven out seven out of ten. I wouldn't say it's my favorite character because this is this is definitely unbeatable. So yeah, um, that's it for now. Next character on this list is a uh, I don't know what you want to call this, a peacock looking character in a fancy dress, all blue. She looks like she's surfing his sister, surfing his mum. They look really related because a lot of blue going on with the blue eyes. They look very similar actually. It looks like this was meant to be seraphina before but then they gave seraphina a new look but yeah definitely um a nice character i do like the blue dress into the peacock this is why i do think it, it may be a doom character because doom has a lot of animals um we have like a jellyfish we have a um we have a shark we have we have a deer um we also have a lizard so again they may say hey you know what i've mentioned it many times in my videos i've also mentioned it in the um the creator chat on the discord i said many times that uh, doom has a lot of animals and not a lot of humans so maybe they thought well the only way we can make a doom that's half half animal half humans by making her dress as an animal but she's also a human so again if you're a doom user like myself this could possibly be a doom a doom character because she's meant to be a peacock so again you can see her that she's wearing like a peacock dress and you know just meant to be peacock feathers as her fan and then a peacock uh, feather in her hair um do I think that her look would be the final look? Maybe not. Her, she's showing a lot of cleavage. It could be like a... Um, she could be wearing a tights right here. That could be happening. And I do think her design may be changed. I do like she's got these nice pearls on her neck. There's something different for once. I know a lot of characters have some little diamond around their neck. I, I see it all the time. She has a diamond in her hair. So it's quite different to other characters. But I wouldn't want this for Doom. I'm personally being honest. The reason why I don't want it for Doom is because... Doom has a lot of blue characters. There's a lot of blue in Doom, like Doris, Lamia, uh, Merlin. There's a lot of blue going on, on, so I don't really want more blue characters. Even Arishtar's new skin, what came out in uh, in the summer event, is also blue. So I wouldn't want this to be a Doom character, but it's a really nice character. I give her, um, 
I'll give her a 7 out of 10, just like the last character. I wouldn't say it's better than the last character, and I wouldn't say it's worse than the other character. I do think they're on par with one another. Um, her in-game model is better than what she actually looks like here. It's because she's not actually standing up properly. She's like leaning against something. But for um, the PNG file, it's obviously showing me the character only. But she's, just, she's looking like she's leaning against maybe a wall or a car or something. But yeah, um, definitely a nice character. Her in-game model is going to be looking like this. Definitely um, a way better stand standing pose than the actual card art. But yeah, um, yeah, definitely a little powerful look. But like I said before in my in the start of the video, the disclaimer, um, her her necklace and her pearl necklace around her are all blue. So in the real game, it might be white. I know people don't care about that. It's a small detail. But just letting people know, um, the final product is not on this video. It's going to be in a few weeks. I have to mention it a few times just in case someone skips the. The beginning, of, beginning of the video but yeah definitely a nice character her in-game model looks better than the actual card art i've never actually seen that in this game before it's normally the other way around the characters look better on the card art than the in-game but yeah um definitely a nice character seven out of ten what do i think what, what i think she's gonna be i do think she's gonna be a doom or a mystifier at rev release the mystifier one of those two i do think she's gonna be a celestial not a demon just because she has a lot of gold going on i know a lot of gold Gold is mainly uh, celestial, just like Serafina. She has a lot of blue and all gold going on. So yeah, definitely a celestial. Her final, her final synergy. Um, who can I say her final synergy would be? Um, let me just check. Sorry, let me just have a little look at all the synergies. I forgot because some of them are so useless, like Protector. Uh, I can see it being. I can see it being Enchanter. Yep. Yeah. Definitely for sure. I can see it being Enchanter. Uh, if it's not an enchanter, I'll be surprised because then it would have to be protector. But let's say for this video, I would say she's going to be a doom celestial protector. Oh, not sorry, protector. A doom celestial enchanter. Or for a mystifier, mystifier celestial enchanter. That's what I, I think. And this is going to be her in game model. The last character is a. Um, I don't know what shit this is actually because I don't have the actual real card art. I, I just have the in game model. This is going to be the in game model. She looks like she's going to be a frontline support. The reason why I gave her the support role is because she looks like she's not here to attack. I don't know. That's the vibes I'm getting. She doesn't look like she's going to be able to attack anyone. She looks like a support character that just sits there. Some people may say this, is, this looks like a support character. But nah, I think she's going to be a magical DPS. Unlike this character, she looks like a physical support character. So, um,. Yeah, that's what I think. I like the design. I like how she's got one leg that's um, like a boot, so a metal boot leg that's like metal and then one that's normal. I do like the design here. Um, her other design, I do like the colours, the cream into the gold, into the, the, the um, not electric, sorry, the, the yellow. This character does give me electric vibes too. I do think it's going to be something based on thunder or electric. And then uh, one more thing I was to mention about this character, it doesn't look like a royal to me. It looks like a standard character. So where would I think this character would be in the game? I do think this character could be a Val character. It could be a Val character or it could be a Ethereal character. One of the two. I do think it could be more on the Val side, but it could be also a Ethereal character. I don't think it's going to be a Glorian. I don't think it's going to be Avenger. Most definitely not Mystifies or Doom because they have more, more dark colors. And Ethereals and, Celest no, Ethereals and uh, Vals have a more of bright character, character colors. So um, yeah, that's what I do think. It's not going to be a royal, but hopefully it's not a royal because it doesn't look like a royal. It looks more, more like a just standard character, and her detail looks worse. I think if you look at the other characters, they have more detail. For example, these characters. I think her detail. I know there's a lot of things going on, but it doesn't actually look like a lot of things going on. It's just bulky. Like her flowers are really big. Um, her sleeves are really big. Her hair is just like blown out. Um, yeah, it's just. This, it doesn't look like much detail, but when we look at characters like this, there's a lot of detail going on. So yeah, definitely, um, this definitely a royal, also a royal, also a royal, and then yeah, just a standard character. And the fact that we don't have the card art, I don't have the card art yet. The actual art design that also indicates that it's not going to be a royal because why would they do the other characters before the royal? I'm not sure. But yeah, that's my guesses for um for this video. I do want you lot to mention some comments in the video of what you think these characters are going to be, what synergies they're going to be a part of, and which one's your favourite. Of course, everyone's going to say this character by a long shot. If this is not your favourite character, then um, enjoy being unique. I'll say that. I can say that for sure. Enjoy being unique. Uh, 
I'm not saying that as a rude way. I'm just saying this character is by far the best character in my opinion. But in your opinion, this may be your favorite character from the patch. This or this one may be your favorite character, or maybe this character. But for most people, I'd say this is gonna be their their favorite character that they're gonna spend their money on. So yeah, um, definitely a nice patch that we're getting. When I get their abilities, I don't know when I can get their abilities or their skill set or their runes or runes. I don't think I can get that tomorrow. But if I speak to the dev, maybe she might get me um more info on the on the patch. But yeah, again, not, thank you to her. I don't know if I'm allowed to say her name, but she know who she is. Thank you for her for allowing me to show you guys and for you guys to be able to see these characters. That's great. And one more thing I got to mention, just a little disclaimer these aren't the final product this is going to be a little similarity of what they're going to look like but when the game finally comes out in a few weeks or a week from now when it's on live servers these characters may have the same same look as this video but just don't put 100 percent on it's going to be like a little a little demonstration it's like a little beta so yeah um that's it for the video so if you did like this video please like and subscribe and comment what you like as your favorite character i'd like to talk to, to most of you in the comments to see what your favorite character was but yeah, thanks for watching.